We remember Keith and Lori Partridge as the iconic brother and sister duo from the musical show, The Partridge Family. I've been thinking about these lyrics. And yeah, what about them? Well, do you think they're really relevant? But did you know that the real life actors, David Cassidy and Susan Day, had a brief relationship that ended horribly? Join us as we explore why David Cassidy regretted his one night stand with Susan Day. A teenage heartthrob is born. There's one thing for sure, David Cassidy knew how to sell out a show. When the actor slash musician landed the role of Keith Partridge in the early television hit, The Partridge Family, he gained critical acclaim and widespread fame. It's true that the sing-along musical show never broke as a top 10 ranking slot on television, but it was David Cassidy who made a name out for himself on the screen and beyond. Prior to the show, Cassidy had seen little success with his musical ventures, even though he had the perfect formula to become the next teenage heartthrob. He was merely 20 years old when he found his way to the show with his charming smile and the iconic haircut that memorialized him on several posters and covers of magazines. Cassidy was a musician who came with a face card. Even when his lyrics and beats didn't exactly inspire the youth and the audiences of the show, the people were generally hooked to the star. In 1970, the smashing hit I Think I Love You launched the Partridge Family Group, as well as their main hustle with the Comedy with Song show of the same name. The largely popular musical series aired on American Broadcasting Company, so it was guaranteed that the youthful charisma and irresistible charm of David Cassidy would be well received by an array of audiences. At least, that's what the showrunners were hoping for when they gave the young actor a chance to build his music career alongside finding a series of acting credits. And well, they weren't wrong. In a blink of an eye, Cassidy was taking to the front stage to deliver cliched, lovey-dovey lines like, I think I love you, so what am I so afraid of? I'm afraid that I'm not sure of a love there is no cure for. And it worked like a charm. Cassidy would sing his heart out, and the crowd would swoon at his romantic inclination with how he performed, danced, and sang on the stage. At the age of 20, Cassidy had become an enigma who would unravel the untold stories of a teenage crush, romance, and rock and roll while his female fans went crazy for him. Although David would grow up to hate the brand of teen idol he had to embody, there's no denying that the actor had thrived the stardom that was selling arenas and racking up television viewership. Cassidy wasn't new to the spotlight. As the son of the successful actor Jack Cassidy, he had seen a glimpse of what it looks like to live a very public life. This is why the singer-slash-actor seemed to glide smoothly in his newly framed idealistic fame, which was also facilitated by his stepmother, the very famous Shirley Jones, it was Jones who played the role of Shirley Partridge, a widowed mother who makes a band with her five children who travel on a psychedelic bus. By the time the Partridge family aired, Shirley had already won an Academy Award. Her popularity was bound to put David on the map as well. While there were other cast members on the show, such as Susan Day, who would also find popularity with L.A. Law, it was Jones and Cassidy who were taking charge of selling the show's music. While Susan brought a credible Hollywood name to the show, Cassidy brought his boyish charm and his teenage fans who were ready to buy anything that came out of the singer's mouth. You won't believe what we're about to tell you next. But when Cassidy's best-known song, I Think I Love You, came out, it had rained the Billboard charts, easily surpassing James Taylor's Fire and Rain and Smokey Robinson and the Miracles' The Tears of a Clown. In fact, the song spent three weeks as the top song on the Billboard charts. Later, Cassidy also acquired the top 10 spot on Billboard with the songs I'll Meet You Halfway and Doesn't Somebody Want to Be Wanted, and of course the singer's very own solo hit, Cherish. The height of Cassidy's popularity can be best gauged with Rolling Stone's 1972 piece on the singer that called him a phenomenon. The magazine noted that Cassidy had a hurricane-like turbulent entry into the world of Hollywood. Within just two years, he was able to find a place in the pre-pubescent lives of millions of American girls. In the words of the Rolling Stones, 
Cassidy's quickly garnered legacy had left six and a half million long playing albums and singles, 44 television programs, David Cassidy lunchboxes, David Cassidy bubblegum, David Cassidy coloring books, and David Cassidy pens not to mention several millions of teen magazines, wall stickers, love beads, posters, and photo albums. The magazine's observation was spot on. It didn't take much for Cassidy to become a teen heartthrob whose every move was tracked by his female friends. In multiple incidents, Cassidy was persuaded to lose his clothing or fans would deliberately take a hotel room next to him, banging on his door all night or slipping romantic notes underneath. But it wasn't just Cassidy who was reaching new heights of stardom. Just like the sensation himself, his co-star Susan Day, who played the role of Lori Partridge on the show, also became an overnight phenomenon. Susan Day's unrequited crush started out as the quiet keyboardist on the Partridge family and went on to rule the courtroom in L.A. law. We're delighted she could stop by. Please welcome Susan Day! Susan Day was only 17 years old when she began her run on the Partridge family. Her typical image of a young, vibrant child actor who was confident with her quirks and bubbly personality had put her at the forefront of a successful television career. The fans of the show saw Susan as their quintessential coming-of-age character who was relatable in the coolest way possible. Cassidy and Day played sister and brother on the celebrated show, so it wasn't surprising that the co-stars were being hailed as an iconic duo on television devoid of any romantic undertones or the plausibility of any one true pairing. Perhaps this is why most people didn't expect to hear one of the most explosive secrets from the sets of The Partridge Family. For the entirety of the show's run, Susan Day was in love with her co-star, David Cassidy. And well, what was not to like? Just like other girls her age, Day was also persuaded by her co-star's flamboyant ways and charming smile. It's unclear what exactly led the actor to crush on her on-screen brother, but the duo definitely had to spend a lot of time together on the set and outside of it. At the height of the show's popularity, Cassidy had become the sensation behind the show. Even when the show was being shot and produced, a myriad of fangirls would line up outside the set to find a single blurry glimpse of their idol. Among those well-wishers was also the young Susan Day, who had all the opportunity to meet with her crush. The duo was known to run over lines together, hang out after the director called it raps, and of course they were literally part of a band. Yet things weren't simple for Susan at all. You see, David was openly pursuing women around him, but he hadn't shown any romantic interest in his co-star at all. And for the most part, it was pretty understandable. Ever since Cassidy had met Day, he had considered her his younger sister, who coincidentally embodied the same role on the television show itself. Oh, I'm sorry I got you into this. Yeah, well, it's not your fault. I mean, you did save me from a punch in the face. Thanks. It's okay. While it was generally speculated that Cassidy had deeply internalized his role as the elder brother of the Partridge family in real life too, but that certainly wasn't the case. Whatever interaction David had with Susan outside the set, was also pretty sibling-like in nature. Or at least, that's what the actor thought. However, for Susan, the situation couldn't have been more different. She was well aware of the dynamics of her crush on Cassidy, but their brother-sister relationship was a piece of fiction. Sure, people had branded them as the iconic sibling duo on the subculture surrounding the show, but there was a reality outside of the Partridge family, too. And well, in that reality, Susan was crushing on David, who was painfully oblivious about the situation. This is why he didn't consider any topic as an off-limit tangent during his hour-long conversations with his friend Susan. You see, Cassidy was known to be a goody-good show's teenage poster boy with a clean reputation, but secretly he resented the nice boy label by dating several women and partying during the weekends. During the course of the show, David allegedly dated a plethora of girls and had sexual relationships with many. He was acting pretty much like a regular Casanova. He would spend the nights with them, and the next day, he would want to talk about his girlfriends or the women he was seeing casually with Susan, too. She'd be heartbroken, but according to the sources on the set, she didn't ever shy away from hearing one of Cassidy's many stories. It was known that the actress was in a whole different world while she was with David, 
and it was almost confusing that he didn't figure out how Susan was pining after him. Believe it or not, it would take years for David to find out that Day never saw him as a brother. If anything, she was in love with him for several years. Sources close to the actor-slash-singer also suggested that David was able to sideline any suspicions he had about his dynamic with Susan. Since the actress was only 17 when she met 20-year-old David, he was adamant about creating appropriate boundaries in their dynamic. He generally thought that he was a bit too old for a teenager to pursue him, which, of course, was understandable. But at the same time, Susan was growing up on the set, too. She had gone from being an aspiring model to a mainstream actress during her time on the show. It was reported that the actress was so new to the know-about of Hollywood that her agent would accompany her during the early days of the Partridge family. She was known to be shy and underconfident. After all, she believed that her big television moment was nothing but a fortunate gimmick. So when she met a confident Hollywood-born singer, David, she was mesmerized. She was devastated to know that any potential for romance between her and Cassidy would be considered a huge taboo, even by her biggest fans. She knew that confessing her love for her on-screen brother would drastically change the dynamics on set. And as an aspiring actress, she didn't want to drive a rift in her career. In a moment of sheer devastation, the heartbroken actress chose to hide her true feelings from Cassidy for years. But little did she know that her unrequited crush was noticed by everyone, including Shirley, David's stepmother. Why David Cassidy was Susan's hero. Susan was a Hollywood newbie when she started her gig on The Partridge Family. As she embarked on her career, she didn't exactly feel the pressure of meeting the unrealistic and at times almost unattainable beauty standards imposed by Hollywood. But of course, the popularity of the show changed everything for the young actress. As the show gained momentum nationally, Susan's agents and managers began to pressure her to maintain a thin body in order to find suitable roles for her. Understanding that her Hollywood success relied on arbitrary measures like body weight, the young, impressionable actress began to starve herself. During one of the seasons of the show, her diet only consisted of carrots, her struggle took a toll on her, and her skin started to turn orange. Even then, Susan was determined to stay thin. What really tipped her off was the callous comment from one of her co-stars, Danny Bonaduce, who called her body disgusting after Susan appeared in a bikini. The comment itself was harsh and critical, but the bitterness of it forced the actress to reconsider her dietary choices that had forced her to starve herself. Around the same time, Susan weighed only 92 pounds, so there was no doubt that the actress was suffering from brutal body image issues. During those moments of high insecurity, it was David Cassidy who would hype up his friend for her phenomenal performance on the show. He was also known to profoundly care about the well-being of his fellow actors, including Day, too. It felt almost natural for the actress to fall in love with her hero, despite the stories of his secret rendezvous making rounds in celebrity gossip circles. One would expect that the actress must have taken a step back from her hard-hitting feelings. Well, nope. If anything, as the show went on to its height, Susan's crush on David intensified so much that everyone around her began to notice her unrequited feelings. Except for the man whose romantic attention and time she craved. It was David's stepmother, Shirley, who played the role of Mrs. Jones in the show, who warned Day about her impending heartbreak. Shirley didn't want to say a lot about her stepson's private life to her co-star, but she was well aware of Cassidy's multiple relationships with women, which included fully-fledged romantic relationships as well as one-night stands. For the most part, Shirley and David had shared a roof. While the mother-son duo weren't close in the early days of the Partridge family, they had grown much closer over the course of years. So if there was anyone who was aware of David's exact and precise feelings for Susan, it was Shirley. The veteran actress knew that Susan was driving for a high-risk bargain that would not end up in anything productive or meaningful. You see, by the actor's own admission, she and David had talked about Susan multiple times. And in all circumstances, her stepson had cited his relationship with his co-star as a friendly dynamic that was laced with the usual sister-brother banter. Reportedly, he once called Susan the sister he never had. We can't blame Shirley for what she did next. 
As the responsible adult in the entire Cassidy snafu, she politely advised the actress to forget about David Cassidy, who was struggling to find a balance between his notoriety with girls and his musical legend image. She was scared that young Susan would get her heart broken. She'd eventually confess her love to Cassidy for him to leave her stranded, or he'd figure out that his sister he never had was deeply, madly, and foolishly in love with him. In either case, he wouldn't have pursued Susan. He was too submerged in his party culture where he got the chance to get acquainted with a new woman every day. In her 2013 self-titled autobiography, Shirley Jones talked about Susan's unrequited crush on David in detail. While the actress spilled a lot of beans from the Partridge family set, her readers were more interested in the Susan Day lore that had left her heartbroken. According to Shirley's book, she warned Susan multiple times to get over her crush, and in order to save herself from any hurt and disappointment, she should at least try to get over David. But Susan didn't back off. Perhaps this is why later in her life she suffered an immense heartbreak that reportedly caused her to go into hiding from her Hollywood career and the general public. In Shirley's own words, throughout the series, Susan Day continued to be crazy about David, but he didn't handle her emotions for him particularly well or sensitively. She wouldn't listen to my advice to stay away from David, and I found myself warning her over and over against getting involved with him. It was clear that the senior actress was trying to save Susan from getting hurt. And rightfully. So, you see, the craze of the young Cassidy rocking on stage had gone out of hand. David hardly lived by his image of a responsible young boy who was in charge of taking care of his fictional younger siblings on the set of the Partridge Family Show. It was reported that fame had gotten to Cassidy's head as he was out and about with a new girl every other day. To make matters worse, the young actor was doing his best to break away from the teen hero image as he was worried that such labeling would hurt his Hollywood prospects. Cassidy didn't aim to stick with the clean, romantic, and family-friendly music he was making as Keith Patridge. The success of the show had already eclipsed his solo career. And of course, dating his on-screen teenage sister wouldn't have done wonders for his reputation. It would have effectively ruined it. In 1972, the actor-slash-singer appeared in the buff on the cover of The Rolling Stones, solely to bring some bad boy reputation in this arena, too. The interview piece that accompanied the magazine cover was explosive. Reportedly, while answering the reporter's questions, David Cassidy had constantly smoked weed while the Partridge family ran on television. Sitting as high as the sky, the young maestro had relentlessly mocked his acting. Not to mention, Cassidy also admitted to experimenting with acid simply because he found the appeal fascinating. The interview became a double-edged sword in the life of the 22-year-old nationwide crush, who was also gaining a reputation for getting too friendly with his female fans. Many cited Cassidy as the cool bad guy who was trying to risk it all to make it big in a cutthroat industry without riding on his famous last name. Others were disappointed in the actor's conduct. Either way, David was happy that posing naked for a famous magazine and the flair of using drugs recreationally had skyrocketed his fame among a certain demographic. The actor-slash-singer's newly emerging bad boy image was driving his female fans, that too, in a good way. While it was always speculated, David also admitted to having sexual relationships with his female fans on multiple occasions. In fact, he was known to be a groupie in the clubs and resorts he would regularly visit. Now, Shirley Jones was aware of her son's predicament. This is precisely why she continued to warn Susan against pursuing a man who didn't deal with her feelings sensitively. But the young actress was also attracted to David because of his carefree nature. In a single moment, he was capable of telling Day sweet nothings, and later in the night, he would rock on a stage in a nightclub. David's incorrigible urge to thrust a bad boy image on himself worked like a charm in one instance at least. Susan found it increasingly difficult to distance herself from an unrequited love. It is reported that the actress desperately wanted to confess her feelings to her co-star, but Cassidy was mostly grappling with one relationship or the other. During the apex of his career, David dated high-profile women. Susan didn't ever find the space to reveal her true feelings to the man who treated her like his little sister. 
The actress eventually accepted that she wouldn't be able to confess to David ever. But as you know, the reality of her infatuation with Cassidy wasn't a secret on the set of The Partridge Family. Eventually, David got to know about Susan's crush on him. It was Shirley who enlightened the musician. And well, needless to say, he was rendered shocked and speechless. Susan Day confesses her love for David Cassidy. It is said that when Shirley finally broke Susan's big secret, David couldn't believe what he was hearing. Never in his wildest dreams he had seen Day as anything more than his sister, a friend and a confidant whom he would tell even his darkest secrets. It is unclear when the actor slash singer was finally made aware of Susan's feelings towards him, but considering the timeline of events, Shirley only broke the news when the cast and crew were aware of the show's finale season that aired in 1974. As the Partridge family recorded their last scenes together, Cassidy held on to the news. But it was Susan who had gotten anxious and worried about her future dynamic with David after sharing the set with him for four years. Reportedly, the actress feared that she'd lose all contact and close proximity with Cassidy, who was looking forward to kickstarting his solo career after the show's finale. After David finished shooting his very last scenes for the show, he had a big plan of hanging out with his childhood friends at his old high school. It was a special moment for him. After all, his big break had worked out profoundly well, and the young man was on the verge of fulfilling his dreams. This is why he thought it would be a perfect idea to take his best friend on set, Susan Day, to his high school reunion. The duo had a plan to spend time with Cassidy's friends and perhaps pop open some champagne to celebrate their successful run on American Broadcasting Company. But the teenage heartthrob didn't expect Susan to pour her heart out on a day that was emotionally taxing for both of them. In the spur of the moment, the young actress had confessed to her undying love for Cassidy, who was left dumbfounded once again. While he was aware of Susan's crush on him, he didn't expect her to go full-blown, I have loved you since forever on him. He genuinely believed that it was a mere teenage crush that would find its course sooner or later. But nope. By all accounts, Susan Day meant business. She wanted Cassidy to know that her feelings weren't just about a mere half-hearted crush. Susan was interested in pursuing a romantic relationship with Cassidy. Upon hearing the confession, the duo decided to have dinner together, which became a tell-all session for Susan Day. Talking about the dinner, Cassidy said, She told me in great detail, we must have spent three hours sitting there, how long she had loved me and how difficult it had been for her, and how afraid she was of what was going to happen with our future. Susan wore her heart on her sleeve, but David failed to reciprocate her feelings wholly. However, he promised Day that he'd give their relationship a go. The actress was over the moon. What she didn't know was that she was on the verge of receiving a humiliating rejection, the fallout. The next day, Susan agreed to meet Cassidy at his ranch in San Diego. The newly founded couple was in the talking phase of their relationship, so they decided some seclusion from the world would do good. Not to mention, Susan had expressed her deep interest in pursuing a physically intimate relationship with Cassidy. But of course, under the streetlights, all eyes were on the couple. So, meeting at David's ranch seemed like a logical idea. At the ranch, they started to make out and took things to the bed. Much to Susan's dismay, David wasn't feeling it at all. He kept insisting that he had always seen her as a sister and a friend, so any sexual encounter between the two felt weird. Yet at the same time, he was worried about rejecting a person whom he deeply cared about. So he decided to give Susan another chance. In the words of David Cassidy the next morning, the duo had a brief sexual encounter that didn't go as planned. The actor kept making silly jokes to lighten the mood, but Day knew the hard truth. Any prospect of pursuing something romantic had died for good. Cassidy's Explosive Memoir Even after their romantic fallout, the duo remained in touch. Susan pursued acting while David continued with a solo career. One thing was for sure. Taking their relationship to the next thing had irreparably severed the bond between the two. This is why Cassidy immensely regretted his one-night stand with Susan, believing that he had let his co-star down after she had loved him for years. In 1990, 
the duo appeared together on the stage of Music Television's Video Music Awards. The moment was scripted, of course, but both Cassidy and Day remained civil and friendly. The actor cracked jokes, and well, the night ended on a positive note. Four years later, Cassidy detailed his half-hearted love story with Susan in his memoir. Apparently, he never thought about consulting her before penning down intimate details about her life. To make matters worse, he also revealed the reason why he didn't pursue Susan. In Cassidy's words, I find a certain sluttiness very attractive in a woman, and Susan just didn't have it. She was sweetness and innocence, a good girl, and I couldn't think of her as anything but my sister. He also admitted that while Susan was very attractive, he didn't have any sexual feelings for her. And oh boy, the memoir was the last nail in the coffin. The actress had never planned on sharing her heartbreak story with the world, yet David chose to do it for her. In 2000, the actor revealed that he regretted being extremely candid in his book. He eventually wrote an apology letter to his former co-star, but she didn't respond to it. In fact, till his dying day, David Cassidy didn't hear a word from Susan Day. There were several moments in the memoir where the actor expressed his love for the actress, but it was nothing but a platonic affair. Even when Cassidy's illness started to make rounds in the media, Susan Day didn't issue any statement. Reportedly, the duo didn't patch up in the last days of David, who died of kidney and liver problems in 2017. So far, no one has heard from Susan Day who had quit acting in 2004. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.